Good evening. An education program at the 122nd Fighter Wing is in jeopardy of being cut. Starbase is one of the cuts proposed by Senator John McCain, but leaders of this Defense Department funded program say it is too important to drop. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth talked to supporters of the program, and he joins us now with more. Randy? Yeah, Mark, this program is relatively new to the area. In fact, it opened last February. In that time, more than 800 fifth graders have gone through it, and it's not just the Starbase leaders who want to keep it going. Even the Chamber of Commerce believes this program will prove beneficial down the road. The 122nd Fighter Wing is the local home of a Department of Defense learning program called Starbase. Inside is a science and computer lab used to teach science, technology, engineering, and mathematics called the STEM subjects. It's a 25 hour curriculum that we follow, covering everything from CAD programming, robotics, rocketry, learning Bernoulli's principle, Newton's laws. For five weeks, fifth graders spend one day a week getting hands-on learning. The program's leaders say the results are there. We have a pre-test and post-test with every class, and our average increase per student is 43 percent. So it's a remarkable increase in knowledge from day one to day five. But with defense cuts looming, specifically measures proposed by Senator John McCain, Starbase's future is in jeopardy. I know the Indiana program uh, uh, right here is about a $300,000 per year budget uh, is what it has. And I think nationally we're talking maybe about $20 million. The city's Chamber of Commerce feels the cost is worth the price in the long run. We need more young people. Uh, getting really strong aptitudes and, and really developing much stronger interest than we're currently enjoying for our future workforce. Those four areas right there are the biggest deficit nationwide. The jobs are there, and especially in a time right now where jobs are so sparse, um, we need to raise up future um, future uh, folks to join the workforce and get involved in those different areas. Today, the chamber is encouraging people to tell federal lawmakers to not cut the program. The Starbase director says teachers' testimonies prove Starbase should be held on to. 100% of them want to come back next year. And when we talk to the principals, we talk to the teachers. Day five at graduation, we try to do an assessment. What do you think of our program? The first thing they say is we want back in next year. Now, this is something the chamber plans to watch closely. If the program stays open, there are plans in the work to expand the facility. And, Mark, it could double the number of students that actually holds each year. Randy Speaks tonight. Thank you very much.